Hi everyone, welcome to Maker Monday. My name is Leslie and I'm the Reading Safari and Stream Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today we're going to be making elephant toothpaste. And if you don't know what that is, you will see soon enough. To do this uh, experiment, you're going to need a few things. And here they are. You will need a empty plastic bottle, 16 ounces is best. You will need 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. You can find this in beauty supply stores like Sally's. You will need some dish soap, some food coloring, some yeast, and a pair of safety goggles just in case, uh, a pair of measuring spoons, a spoon for stirring, a cup, a funnel, half a cup of a for a measuring cup and some warm water okay you will also need something to do this project on because this is a very messy project so i have this pan here and i'm going to use it to do this experiment so grab all of your items and then come back and meet me here our first step for making elephant toothpaste is to pour half a cup of this hydrogen peroxide into this empty plastic bottle. I'm going to use my funnel to do that to make sure that it doesn't go everywhere. Next, we're going to add about 10 drops of food coloring. I've picked green because it's my favorite color. And just to be fun here, I'm gonna drip it down the sides of the bottle, see what happens, if anything. There we go. Got our food coloring, and now I'm going to add one tablespoon of dish soap. Okay, and then I'm going to mix that in a little, and there we go. Okay, we're gonna take three tablespoons of our warm water and put it into our cup for mixing. This is a separate cup than the bottle that we'll be doing the elephant toothpaste in. So I've got my three tablespoons, and now I'm going to add the yeast and I'm going to mix it for 30 seconds. Now that I've mixed my yeast with my water, I'm going to put on my safety goggles because the fun's about to start. All right, we're going to add this to this and see what happens, we should get quite a big reaction. So let me... Okay, so that is elephant toothpaste. And if you're wondering why I put on safety goggles for this, it was because I was expecting this to be much more big and fast, because that's how it normally goes. But it's important to keep in mind that science is a process. You're not going to get perfect results every time, and you just kind of have to work with what you've got and figure out how to make it better for the next time. So with this type of thing, you know, I will um, do some more experimenting and see what works best. And I can't actually say why it ended up like this. And that is part of the beauty of it all. Um, thank you so much for tuning in with me for this Maker Monday. And I hope that you will grab one of your parents and go outside and attempt this experiment. And maybe you'll get a bigger and faster 
explosion or fountain of toothpaste and make sure that you wear your safety goggles just to be safe. All right, I will see you next week. Take care, everybody.